So I was away last week, which is why there was no video. But while I was away, I was poking around on YouTube and I found an old instructional video by Steve Morse. Um, now the quality of it was really bad, you know, it was a, uh, looks like a VHS that's been digitized and lip sync's gone and, you know, the, the encoding's not great anyway. Uh, but I really liked the idea that it was playing around with, which is kind of an arpeggiated pattern. So I thought this week I'd have a go at it myself, uh, but I'd tab it out as well and go through it in a bit more detail. So hopefully you can play around with it yourself and, and see what you mean. Um, let me play through it now. I'll zoom in and uh, have a look, see how we get on. So that's it. Um, I've tabbed this out and I'll put a link to it in the description field as usual. Um, now Steve Morse being Steve Morse is alternate picking this all the way through and there's some quite tricky little skink, string skips as you'll see when you when you see it tabbed out. Um, but get hold of this tab and what I'll do now is I'll just zoom in and go through in a bit more detail what's going on but obviously if you've got the tabs you'll be able to follow much more more closely. Um, but let's have a go. Okay, structurally these arpeggios are all kind of similar. They have two notes on the on the D and the G string. And then and that gives you the E and the B string to carry a melody. Which is what he's doing here. So the chord he's playing around is E minor. And then he goes to B major with the third in the root. So you can see here, there's most of the melodies is carried on the E string, so you've got to get used to this string skipping idea. And then it's, and the bass line is basically going back in semitones, so next is into D major. So it's D major this time, so we're hitting the F sharp instead of the F natural. Then back a semitone. So same pattern as we did just here, but back a tone, then back a semitone for the next one. So you can see how this pattern kind of works all the way down. And just here is, is just basically playing a B major, it's playing around the B major. So you can see how the little finger can reach out and play a melody whilst the bass line is just kept comping away in the background. And obviously with any arpeggio with a distorted guitar you've got to make sure that you you manage the, the string damping of the strings that aren't playing so you're not you're not doing this. You go. You're releasing the strings after you've played them. So that's it. Give it a go, see how you get on. It's quite a tricky pattern, so don't expect to just be able to pick it up and play it. It does take a few uh, days to rehearse and get it right. Um, but you never know, it might be useful for you. And I do like the idea of being able to bring out the melody line with that high note, that's that's really neat idea. I'll start to play around with that, I think, a bit more. But as I say, give it a go, see how you get on, and we'll chat next time. Goodbye.